Just look at this, three doors, front wheel drive, and a manual gearbox. When did you last see a new hot hatch like it? Chances are it, too, was a Volkswagen Golf GDI, which has now been in the UK for 40 years, and this year there was a new one. Well, newish. The changes don't turn the GDI into an all new car, but they run deeper than a light nip and tuck. Better than a MK7 but not yet a MK8, the MK7.5 name that's been bandied about seems the best fit. That .5 gets you a little bit more everywhere. One of those little bit mores is extra power for its 2.0 liter turbocharged engine 10 bhp, up from 217 bhp to 227 bhp. That power output says a lot about the Golf GDI. It has made its name by being the everyday, usable hot hatch that's far more about accessibility than being at the leading edge of Nürburgring lap times and a member of the 300 bhp plus, four-wheel drive club. Of course, VW gave the pre-facelift Golf GDI a send-off by stripping it out and increasing the power in creating the Club Sport S. That was a car VW used to tell the world, yeah, we can make a hot hatch like that if and when we choose to, but we think the world still needs a good, honest, wholesome hot hatch like we've been selling for 40 years, thank you very much. So arrived the MK7.5. We want to celebrate and discover the continued relevance of that message by sampling the Golf GDI in the purest 1977 spec form as the 2017 spec sheet will allow. For us, that means three doors instead of five, a six-speed manual gearbox, they don't do a four-speeder like the original but will sell you a seven-speed DSG dual-clutch auto that goes without the golf ball gear knob, so where's the fun in that, and the famous tartan fabric seats? That gearbox sends the drive to the front wheels only four driven wheels remaining the preserve of the Golf R. This is a Golf GDI as high-tech and customizable as it has ever been, thus very easy to push well beyond a Golf R in terms of price if you spend too long browsing the options list. Yet with my purity brief, specking one beyond those aforementioned must-haves took no time at all, such was the ease of the configurator to create a car that just feels right.